Good afternoon once again ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to PRL Season 10 Round 4, the Russian Grand Prix. In qualifying we've already set a banker, it's pretty slow though. I was actually capable of mid 33s, even low 33s. But the Delta is well up and we cross the line to improve. Get into the 33s but it's not a great one. Maznat obliterating us for pole and our teammates Danny and Wayno line up on the second row but there was rain due in the race. Late on though, but importantly, none of the front runners starting on anything other than ultra socks, which means it's very unlikely that any of those front runners would make it to the start of the rain period. We made a very good start there, great traction. Just like last season, Mazda on pole, me second. Now a fun fact, after three rounds of this season, the top three have each beaten one of the other top three twice. So far we've had Danny beat me twice, I've beaten Maznat twice, and Maznat's beaten Danny twice. Last season I was actually able to take the lead into turn one. This time I go a bit deep and Maznat performs the over and under. Not only that, but my teammate Danny comes up the inside. A bit of contact between those two and I get up the inside of Danny. Almost get Maznat as well, but I have the inside for the next corner and that is the best place to be. Got through and actually Maznat a little bit wide onto the curb and Danny got through as well. Further back, we had some interesting contact. Craig started quite a way back and would scythe his way through very sideways for senior I saw. Craig himself getting very sideways as Wayno comes across but makes up a good deal of ground. Similarly for HSV makes up a little bit of ground as cars squabble. You can see Craig there, that contact with Wayno. Everyone having to avoid it, HSV checking up the most. And unfortunately for him and some other cars there was some contact and coming off worse would be the Sabre driver and a McLaren. I think that was Harry Ryan having his debut. We actually managed to get away with the fastest lap as Danny defended from Maznat. Their battle raged on, as you can see in the background on the leaderboard. The pit window is open. The pit window is open. The earliest pitter of the front runners was Maznat himself as he lost out to Stewart later in the stint. Danny would cover off as well as Stewart a lap later, and I went a lap after that. Exit. Exit now. So I would suffer the most undercut, and Maznat setting the fastest lap on his first flying lap. On those ultra softs, you should be noted, comes flying past having undercut everyone that was in front of him, Stuart, Danny and myself. So potentially a mistake strategy wise for me, but I think he's made a definite mistake going on to ultra softs, given when I thought the rain would be coming down. Nevertheless, I had to make sure of it, so I set off after him, I bumped it up into Rich on that back straight on my out lap. He set a fastest lap, but I still caught up in that last sector. So I knew this was the time I had to push, stay within DRS and catch up. In fact, you can see I've caught up quite a lot on this next lap on Pebble myself. Very surprising given the margin that Maznat had for pole position in qualifying, but now on ultra softs can't get away from me while I'm on super softs. I'm not sure what happened to him here race pace wise though, not as strong certainly as he was in qualifying. And now you can see I'm setting up for a move with the DRS. Hopefully, it's good enough. I set the fast lap of the race, and I'm well within DRS. Getting a bit of a slipstream as well, but it doesn't seem to be very effective. Yeah, very much not effective at all, nowhere near him into turn one. However, the pressure has forced him a little bit wide, much like I did at lap one, and this is given me the inside with a long left-hander. I already have P1, in fact, I've got in front of him well before the right-hander. I would have positioned my car defensively, but I've actually gone too far to the inside, given him a run around the outside, and he's got his nose in front on the left. We advise moving to mix two, fuel to mix two. But much like lap one, the inside of that next corner is favourable, and I took the lead, to my surprise, given the tyre condition and compound difference. Now, unfortunately, Maznat did actually clip his wing there on the back of me, and would end up pitting at the end of that lap ending that battle which would have been really interesting given the strategic difference of the ultra softs that he was running. As you can see the car in front here is lapped, it's HSV who's gone a bit early for the inters. It's not a perfect situation but I don't think we have cause to move on to a different tyre yet. Okay clear. The unfortunate things started happening as the rain came down, Stewart crashed out from in front of Maznat which was annoying championship wise. Craig pitted first before Danny, she covered him off even though it wasn't quite ready until a few laps later but that was the right thing to do in terms of covering off rivals. I ended up pitting with just two laps to go. 
I think this is the correct time, given that that was when the DRF was disabled, much later than everyone else, I think. And I paused at the end for a formation finish for Mercedes. Second week in a row, a 1-2 for the team. Danny winning last time out in Bahrain. And there we are on the podium, joined this time by Craig, which is fantastic for him. He, of course, gets the Red Bull on the podium for the first time in this season. There are the results once again, a lot of penalties. Mazna and I are the only ones to escape that punishment. I've been Jacko. See you in Spain.